Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So today 8-bit came out and I'm super pumped to be playing. It's currently 3.30 p.m. So a lot of people have played it. Keep in mind it came out less than 12 hours ago and look at all the people who have absolutely just destroyed with 8-bit so far. I mean it's unreal. Um, needless to say 8-bit is an extremely overpowered brawler. Now a lot of the times I get number one on a brawler as soon as it comes out. I did it with Tick. I did it with Literally the last five brawlers, I've been number one every single time the last three days. Today was an exception. I woke up uh, super late, not compared to what I usually do. And I mean, so many people had it so high up and I was just like, okay, I'm not going to do this. So we're going to be trying it out today. Uh, we played one game with it. Obviously, we all know it's super broken, but just how broken exactly we're going to figure out in today's video. So let's hop into the first game and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into the first game. And it, I thought we were playing Siege. Uh, to be honest, but I guess we'll just play this. So we'll go lane. So obviously this brawler is super, super slow. And that's just because it does a lot of damage. So with it being slow, it can actually be countered by a few brawlers. So it's really hard to, to uh, juke a dynamite actually with this brawler. And then you get laned up against something like Rosa, which just goes right at you. And you can just absolutely melt it. So you guys can see we're able to pick up the kill over there. So I guess we'll go to this right side. And I mean this brawler, when I mean slow, it is super, super, super slow. So we're just trying to chill, trying to run away, but we're not going to be able to. So we actually might have found the counter to the brawler. Now, a lot of people say it's just the most broken brawler in the game, but it, I think it definitely does have its counters, so I don't think it's too, too broken. We're trying to get our super over here. We're going to laser this Dyna, and we're just going to put our super right over here. Obviously, our super is does uh, 30 more damage, 30% uh, more damage, not 30, sorry two brawlers um just when you're in there and doesn't just affect us it also affects every brawler in there so a piper a dynamite very rarely is the options to have on the team with us toma is going to go down over there but that's fine we're going to be able to pick up the kill on the rosa and we're just going to walk up very very slowly we're going to throw our turret down toma's going to run in we're able to pick up a kill on that rico and that dynamite is one shot we're going to laser that rosa hopefully we're able to get it down but we definitely should be able to we're going to put this back over here Toma's just hopping around. We're going to be able to pick up the kill on the mic. And we're just going to laser that Rico. I mean, we didn't kill it, but we're going to laser it, get it down. So this wasn't really a really good representation of just how good this brawler is. So we're going to go on to Siege, which is the map that I thought we'd played. And it's just a lot more open, a lot better of a map for this brawler. Let's hop into the second game and let's show you guys truly how strong it is. So here we go into our second game. And as you guys can see, this is a much more open map. So this one's definitely going to be a better representation. Now, it takes a, us a while to walk up. Very, very slow brawler, as you guys know. But then once we're up here, we can do a ton of damage. So let's see how good this brawler is with auto aim. We haven't tried that out yet. So we missed someone that was far, but someone to our side we're able to do really well against. I think a Piper would be good against it, because it's going to be hard to do, uh, to dodge Piper's shots since we're so slow. We're going to be able to pick up that kill over there. We're just going to throw this up here so we can do some more damage. We're going to try and laser this Primo over here. We're going to do a good job doing so. So we're just walking around. We're chilling. Again, can't get too close to anybody. We're able to pick up a kill over there. Going to walk up. We're just going to put this right over here. We don't have any walls broken, unfortunately, so we can't do much damage or any, actually. I'm trying to laser that cold. Staying in this area because, again, we do more damage when we're in there. Going to be able to kill the Piper. And, I mean, this thing has crazy, crazy range, so we're able to do work from very far away. We're going to switch this over to this side over here since we're going to be playing towards this left side. Good snipe over there by Alec might have kept us alive. Again, just doing really, really ridiculous damage from far away. We don't have that wall break though, which is pretty needed if you ask me. So we're going to try and stay alive here, just barely we're going to be able to. Alec is going to go down. I mean, that could have been our wall break, so this might be really, really bad news for us. We're just going to put our super down over here. The Primo is going to be punching it. We're going to be trying to take out this Primo. We're not going to be able to, but the Primo just auto-aimed Alex, so he's going to go down. They were focusing on me a little bit too much, so we're just going in on the safe over there. Currently 4-3, to three, so we do have the advantage uh, in damage, but we still have to get this uh, bot in order to secure the win. We're going to try and get this Colt over here. We got it really low, but we're not able to pick up the kill. Alex is going to be able to get the 2-tap. Probably will get the Colt, I'm not sure. He will be able to. It's probably going to be a tie or we're going to win by one, one or the other. Oh, maybe not. Wow, okay, so they won by one. So I guess we can see how good it is on defense. Straight away, we're just going to take out um, 
their player. So we're just going to put this right over here and just absolutely start wheeling and damage. We're doing a ton of damage super, super, super fast. The only thing is we can't outrun this bot, which might be an issue, but I don't think it will be. We lasered the bot really, really well. We're able to pick up a kill on it. We're going to be lasering this Primo over here. going to laser the Colt as well, and we're going to win by only 8%. So that wasn't very much of a convincing win. So again, it probably is the most overpowered brawler, but that wasn't very convincing. It's not like we just dominated that game. We are able to get star player, but the offense was really, really hard. He was really good for defense, though. Let's hop into the next game. It'll probably be the same results. Let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into the next game. Pretty interesting comp that they're running, double turret, so it might be pretty interesting against us. Toma's going to be standing still at the start. And again, this brawler being slow is definitely going to be the downfall of it. It's like by far the slowest brawler in the game, so it's not very good. People don't know the range yet. Oh, we almost took out that barley. I was just going to say, people don't know the range of this brawler, and they're going to be killed by that simply because of that fact. Barley's just like kind of trapped in a corner over there, can't do much. Waiting for this Jesse to spawn. We need a few hits over there. Alex's going to be able to get the kill. And with Alex jump, he's going to be able to break the wall over here. We're trying to get our super. We're going to throw our super right over here so we can start to do some damage. We're going to go down. That's going to go down. But it worked as a pretty good body block. As you guys can see, people are going off. Now, what is this in our base? We actually didn't see this for the entirety of the time. But there is something on our base. It did a grand total of 73%. That's pretty insane. So we got to keep a good track of where that penny is right now. Because that could have ended us, to be honest. And I can't see it. Okay, there it is. That's pretty interesting. We did not see that whatsoever. I'm just going to plant this in this corner over there. Help out Toma. And we're kind of trapped in these bottles. I mean, we have to run away as fast as possible. But fast and 8-bit don't go together very, very well. So we're close to going down, we're not going to. Toma's going to get killed by the penny, but I think we're fine. Oh, maybe not actually. The bot is on the safe, he should be doing enough work. I'll put this here, that should help him. Doesn't matter anyways, we win by 10%. Again, this game was a little bit more panicky though. We're going to do a couple more, hopefully we can go 5-0. and Let's hop into the next game and let's see what happens. Okay, so we're going to go into here. You guys have to remember as well that I, something I didn't uh, mention is we're not using a star power. We're not maxed out, we're only level 9. So, all, everyone else that we're facing is more overpowered than we are. Um, her, the second star power for this brawler is really, really good. I don't know what Alex is doing. He's kind of just standing still. Um, but yeah, the second star power is you respawn where you die your first death. So that's super, super strong. Toma's also playing Rush Wars right now, so I also wanted to shout that out. He's actually the current number one Rush Wars player in the world. So shouts out to Toma. He's probably going to make some gameplay on it. And if you like Rush Wars, I would definitely recommend subbing to his channel. Anyways, we're going to go right behind this bot over here. We're going to use this for our push. We're going to throw it right over here. And let's see how much damage we can do. We're just going to go on the safe. And we're going to tear it apart. Wow. We did a massive amount of damage to that safe. We just destroyed it. Alec didn't even break the wall. So we're going to do one more game. Hopefully we can go 5-0 on the video. Let's hop into the next one. Okay, so here we go into our fifth and final game. Going up against a pretty OP team comp, something that should be able to punish us as a very slow brawler. So let's see what we can do. Apex actually pretty tanky, which is interesting since she has range and a tank. So I guess we're going to see just how important it is to have speed, I suppose, with this brawler. If the brawler isn't overpowered, it's obviously due to the speed. And that just shows how important it is. And if it is overpowered, it just shows the unimportance of the speed, basically. So we're going to see what happens. We're able to pick up a kill over there. Alec is basically shooting at nothing. We're going to use our super to do more damage. And it's a pretty good amount of damage. 30% damage to all brawlers inside of it is pretty hefty. If you can keep this safe, it's really, really, really strong. It'll give you a huge advantage in literally everything. Alex can get a top over there. We're going to be able to pick up the kill. We're just going off on the safe right now. We're going to give myself and Alec the boost, and that's just going to be a really easy one push. And that is going to end the video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, this brawler is really, really, really good. Hopefully, we'll see it in some tournament play. There is a tournament upcoming on Sunday, the qualifiers for NA, so hopefully we can see it then. But anyways, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll get another one done tomorrow. Probably again on 8-bit, trying to study it a little bit more. That's going to be it for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be back tomorrow. Love you guys. Peace.